My name's Andy Ruff. I'm running for re-election for a seat on the Bloomington City Council at large. Um, I have served, uh, this is my third, currently my third term on the council, and in the last eight years, I have served as either vice president or president of the council, which um, I believe uh, indicates confidence in my leadership abilities as shown by my fellow council colleagues over the last couple of terms. Um, my, I'm from Bloomington. Uh, I spent most of my life here and uh, have two children and my parents still here in this community and I love Bloomington. There's uh, not a community that I can think of that I would rather um, be a part of uh, than Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, my education uh, includes an undergraduate degree from Cornell University in Ithaca, New York in environmental science and a master's of public affairs from School of Public Environmental Affairs here at IU Bloomington. I also have my teacher certification, which has expires, expired, and I did teach high school at North Central High School in Indianapolis for a short period of time. Um, what I believe politically, uh, is fundamentally, uh, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat in the uh, FDR tradition, and what guides my values politically uh, is sort of uh, largely summarized in his second Bill of Rights uh, State of the Union speech he gave in 1944, where uh, FDR laid out a list of uh, what he felt were uh, economic rights of, of all people. And uh, one of those, for example, the right to earn enough to provide adequate food, shelter, clothing, and recreation, um, that was one of the motivating forces behind me developing the living wage ordinance for the city of Bloomington, um, which was one of my major legislative accomplishments and still is the only true living wage law in the state of Indiana, which guarantees that anyone working through or with the city uh, pays its workers. A, there's a minimum floor below which, beneath which, they cannot pay. And it's consistent with this idea that uh, people have a right to earn enough to provide their basic needs. Um, I believe government has a role and a strong role and promoting equity and social, just, just social justice. Um, some of my other accomplishments in addition to the living wage, uh, the council provides budget oversight and uh, over the years of providing that budget oversight, I feel like I have helped Bloomington in be in its current financial situation which is very solid, very sound, uh, particularly compared to many other communities that are really struggling in, in these difficult economic times. Um, economic development policies that uh, really produce public benefits and reduce economic leakage from, for leakage from the community. Um, I've developed a, and helped usher through a responsible, responsible bidder ordinance, which helps ensure that workers um, receive uh, fair wages and good treatment uh, from employers. Um, uh, did the Platinum Bike Task Force, which is an initiative I helped uh, develop because I feel like transportation is an anti-poverty program. The less that people have to spend on owning, maintaining, insuring, fueling a car uh, is money they can uh, instead use to further their education, provide better food and shelter and clothing for their families. Um, so I think that's very important. I think it's an appropriate area for government to be involved in um, guiding and helping subsidize and direct transportation policies that ensure uh, wide range of mobility options for people. Uh, issues in the next term that are going to be really important include public safety issues, our, our social safety net as state and federal uh, funds are cut for social services, uh, transportation options again, and growth policies that impact neighborhoods and downtown and the quality of life for people in Bloomington. Um, I want to serve again because there's still a lot to be done to make uh, our community better for everyone. Uh, and I want very much to have the opportunity to continue uh, helping Bloomington to surge ahead as a model progressive community. So I would very much appreciate your support uh, this coming November in the uh, election and please feel free to contact me through the council office at any time with any questions or to discuss any issues. Thank you very much.